Other news tonight, a Victoria family is warning other dog owners to keep a close eye after they say their golden doodle was snatched away by a coyote. Carolyn and Sharon Yu shares their story and ways you can help protect your pets. It's all new tonight. For a long time, it was Hugo and Hurley, inseparable in the Meyer household. Hurley was a golden doodle. This is a Norwich Terrier. But since Hurley's disappearance on Wednesday, Doug and Stephanie Meyer say their Norwich Terrier hasn't been himself. So, yeah, he's been a little off. Yeah. Stephanie says she let both the dogs out when she got home from work. When I opened the door, only one dog was there. And so um, we called for him, we yelled for him. It was just very unlike him to be to be missing. She says she and her oldest son immediately went searching when they came across coyote tracks. Looking at the tracks with a flashlight that um, a coyote or two had come within, you know, five, seven feet of the deck. As developments pop up in areas that were once rural, DNR spokesperson Harland Heemstra says it's inevitable that humans and wildlife may come head to head. We coexist with this wildlife and most of the time it all works out well, but sometimes it creates problems for us just as really sometimes, you know, you think about it, we create problems for the wildlife. While coyote attacks are not common, Heemstra says it happens with heartbreaking results. We'll have to figure out what life looks like with just one. The Myers say they're yeah. still thankful for the 11 years they spent with their small golden doodle. We'll just miss him so much. It'll be hard to get used to life without him. And they hope others who have chosen yeah. to live close to nature will take care. Simply want to put the warning out there. Hey, this happened to us. I don't want this to happen to anybody else. Please be vigilant. Be cautious with your, your pets and kids. The DNR says it's crucial not to leave any potential food sources out in the wild for coyotes to get to. And if you do come face to face with a coyote, you can make loud noises or do other things to scare them from coming back. The DNR has good tips on their website, which we will link to at the bottom of this story on our website. Randy. All right. Thank you, Sharon.